What is up fam? Agent O here with another action figure review and today I have the uh, Tamashi web exclusive Age of Ultron War Machine Mark 2.0 figure. Uh, there really isn't much to say about this guy, you know, review wise because, you know, he is obviously it's a repaint of the Iron Man 3 Iron Patriot uh, figure. Um, but there are a couple little differences and there's some things that they actually missed on this figure that I do want to touch on in this review. Uh, aesthetically, of course, like I said, it's, you know, the Iron Patriot armor, so everything looks on point in that department. Um, you know, the only difference is obviously the paint job. Um, but I will talk about the sculpt a bit because I... If uh, I'm gonna show some comparison photos and uh, com between the difference between the Iron Patriot uh, figure and this figure, uh, the legs are a little they're like a little wider. Uh, I noticed in the in the on the original toy. Um, he actually looks a little scrawnier. It's very small, it's very it's very minor detail. Um, it you almost if you'll miss it if uh, if you're not looking that hard of, enough for it. Also, the forearms are slightly different too. They're either a different sculpt or uh, they made them a bit bigger, so they kind of they kind of make they kind of look a bit more seamless, and you know it kind of helps hide the elbow joint a bit more. I think it does. Um, so I like it. I mean, I like those minor, really, really minor changes they made. Um, it, he looks more like it looks. He looks more thicker, and uh, and more like a seamless piece of armor than you know an, than an action figure that's made to look like armor. Now, as far as the paint job goes, I've heard some people complain that the paint isn't the exact same kind of uh, dark gunmetal gray that they use in the movie and I mean I don't know I mean if you want to nitpick that hard that's fine um, you know it, especially when it comes to mo it, the figure being a movie accurate figure you know if that's a you know th if that's an issue to you that's that's cool and that's a valid point um, but I don't know I think the paint job looks fine it is not completely accurate though because there's if you watch the movie or you looked at the Hot Toys figure, there's a lot of decals and uh, lettering and stuff missing off of this guy. And he's just a blank body, and uh, you know right like right here there should be on his chest there should be a uh, Lieutenant Colonel James Rhodes his name on there. Um, there should be a 002 on the bicep, letting you know that this is the Mark II uh, on the forearm. On the forearm, there should be the uh, United States Air Force logo. Also, on the side armor panels that are that are on a swivel, there should be the Air Force logo on it. Also, on both sides, and um, there also I think there's numbers or something or else on the shoulder pads. I can't fully remember. I'd have to go back and check it out. So, if you're looking for movie accuracy, that's not you're not going to find it on this figure. Um, but, uh, you know, other than that, you know, aesthetically, I think it looks good. You know, I didn't have the Iron Patriot because I hate that paint scheme. Um, so I got this guy instead. Oh, I also wanted to point out that on his, uh, on the torso, this part's all silver and that's, that's accurate. But this piece right here, just up above, you know, I guess where your, like where your rib cage would meet the rest of your torso or whatever. Uh, just you know top of the diaphragm joint this piece should also be silver too and for whatever reason it's not um, I don't know if this if this was on my particular figure or if this is how all the figures that uh, were mass-produced looked uh, so I can't really say but um, that's off too so once again this isn't completely accurate to the movie uh, but I didn't buy it completely for the accuracy. I mean, it looks great, and I want it to. I wanted this figure for my uh, a movie Avengers collection instead of the Marvel Legends version. So I got this one instead. Um, but you know, I, I don't really want to spend too much time on the articulation because it's exactly the same as the Iron Patriot figure. You know, he's got the bicep swivel, shoulder, elbow pads. Uh, get out of the way. Um, 
He's got the he's got the rotation in the shoulder. Head can turn, you know, turns 360 degrees. It can go up, it can go down. Neck is on a um, neck is on a swivel. It, it could be on a ball joint, but uh, you know the shoulder kind of restricts you from going some side to side too far. But it, that little bit of extra motion does help. Uh, you know the shoulder, the torso is obviously it's a diaphragm joint. There's okay range of motion on that. It's not too great. Good side to side motion though. Uh, the legs are on those type one um, on that type one uh, hip joint that comes all the way down. These side panels get out of the way. You've also got uh, you've also got a thigh swivel and. It, and you can tilt the leg as you can see you can kind of tilt it and that kind of helps with the three-point pose double knee joints as you can see uh, toes I mean the uh, the ankles pivot you got you got you can uh, put this panel back and you can bend his feet back bend his feet forward you can uh, he doesn't you can uh, lift this oops Oop. you're not I guess this piece isn't supposed to lift up like that I didn't realize that and that is my mistake just put that back on but he does have a it does it does move a little bit I moved it way too much and it popped off but you know it does go back on and that's really not much of a toe point but I don't really use that that often I mean it's great when it's there but I don't use the I don't use the foot I don't use the toe pointer uh, joint that often with a lot of my poses um, also the gun um, you know is cannon shoulder cannon or gatling gun the miniaturized gatling gun uh, it's on a swivel it's on like a the gun itself is on a swivel that goes up and down and then where it where it pegs in you know just pegs in like so it's got a fitted it's got a specialized fitted peg once my camera focuses and you can see so it only fits in one way in the back And uh, this, the gun does pop off pretty easily, so just be mindful of that and be careful. Also, it does rotate. I usually take it off to rotate the cannon and then put it on because I'm afraid of that peg breaking. That way, if I want to, if I want to chain turn it, plus it, it just comes off so so easily. It's it's it fits on there pretty good, but it doesn't stay if you move it around too much. It, it it'll come out pretty pretty easily I kind of wish it was I might even I might even I mean I, I don't want to super glue it on there because that's not a good idea but um, I may add some like maybe a little bit of nail polish to make that joint a little make that I'm sorry make that peg a little thicker so it doesn't come off as easily but I mean it's this isn't a bad figure overall um, you know it comes with the same accessories that all Iron Man uh, figures come with this line. He's got he's got repulsor blasts. I'll show that real quick even though It all looks the same. It's all sculpted exactly the same. I'm not even gonna take it out of the tray You know, he's got his he's got his hands. He's got the repulsor blast. He's got the rocket blast. He's got the He's got the gun um, the gun effect piece You know it fits it's it's uh, specially made or you know they changed the peg so it fits into the gun it's you know uh, he also has also his hands um, they're actually painted correctly so like unlike the Iron Man mark uh, what was it 45 or 46 or 47 whatever unlike that figure the repulsor blasts are actually painted on this guy and you can remove the uh, the uh, hand guards and peg them in I kind of like how the newer Iron Man figure has the pegs, has the hand guards on all the hands. I think that works better because this is a bit cumbersome and it's just more pieces and parts to move around. Um, 
these are already on there on this hand on this uh hand i don't even think these come off yeah oh no they do come off they can come off so i guess you do have an extra set of these but I, i'm just gonna leave them on because i don't see the need to take them off but i mean that's uh pretty much it for this figure there's nothing really else to uh to write home about with this guy um if now as far as like purchasing him i would say yeah i'd get this guy if you don't already have an iron patriot figure and you just want to have um you want to have iron patriot for your collection and i'd say yeah i get it um that's why i got it but i really don't think this figure should have been a web exclusive there was no excuse for bandai to do that other than to get money honestly um because they know people would have paid out would have paid the extra for it you know if if you paid the big bad toy store markup or any of the online toy stores that mark this figure up you paid too much i did not pay those prices i like i said and like i always tell you guys shop around you know i found this guy for fifty dollars you know the the msrp price that he was advertised for back when it went up for pre-order that's how much i found i found it for and you know that was before shipping obviously i got it from japan so i had to pay a bit more for shipping but you're paying but with like say with like big bad toy store you were paying like it was i think the figure was a hundred dollars before shipping so i still made out I still paid less than than anybody who bought this guy from Big Bad. So I mean, it's like I keep telling you guys, don't listen to all these people plug in those stores, shop around, check out the other sites, you know, and find deals, you know, wherever you can because this is an expensive hobby and if you can save a few bucks here and there to use that to buy, you know, other figures that you might want to add to your collection, then you know, I definitely would I definitely would do that. And so, you know, I'll always encourage that over over buying, you know, uh, from from one particular store just because, you know, some somebody else told you to or, you know, because that store does have good service. I'm not going to lie. Big Bad Toy Store is a good, decent store. You know, it's reliable. But, you know, some of those prices, man, that they decide to just sell you are redonkulous. And I refuse to pay more when i don't have to so that's gonna pretty much do it i got nothing else to add to this review um it's a solid figure overall it has its own it has a few hiccups it's not perfect obviously but i would prefer this figure just for the pose ability alone um over the marvel legends version and you know obviously i can't afford uh hot toys version so i'm not even gonna go there on that so that's going to pretty much do it. I'll catch you guys on the next review. I am Agent O and I'm out. Peace.